Welcome back, Poké fans, to my Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke Challenge Part 8. Huh? Last episode, we have got the fourth gym badge, and it was pretty amazing. This episode, we'll make our way through Route 7 and try to complete the fifth gym. Also, Panchum here is at huh? level 37 and is the only Pokemon in my team who is actually struggling to evolve. So I have finally decided that I do want to have a dark type Pokemon in my team just to evolve Panchum. So I did decide this after debating a lot. Um, I know it's a bit trickier but I think this is the only way to go through with evolving Panchum. I have decided that I'll go ahead and catch a Zigzagoon in the wild area and just go ahead and keep it in my team so that Panchum can be evolved by leveling up. Right, let's make our way over there and I'll see you soon. Well, here we are in the wild area and I can see a Zigzagoon. Now, I did actually wait till now to see if I would actually catch a dark type Pokemon. And if I did, I wouldn't have to do this. But since we were unlucky and were not able to even find one dark type, I guess this is the only way to actually evolve Panchum. Anyway, here let me quickly actually cast the Zigzagoon and I'll just add it to my team. Alright, here we have it. Let me quickly catch it with a Pokeball. And we are good. So if I have Panchum Evolved, I think it will be much helpful for the 5th gym. As you might know, it's actually a fairy type gym and not having a poison type Pokemon in my team is gonna be a bit tougher. Um, I think some of my Pokemons will learn a poison type move. I do have to check that out actually. If they do, I'll go ahead and teach them and make sure they are leveled up so that we can actually uh, have a easy go through. Or else it might be a bit tougher to go through this one. Anyway, we still have one new team member to add in Route 7. And I'm really hoping it's a psychic type Pokemon who I can actually use. If not, it's gonna be so much tougher. Anyway, here we have Zigzagoon and I've just gone ahead and um, added it into my team. And now that it's done, I think we can actually go ahead and evolve Panchum. This has been long awaiting. Uh, as you might know, Panchum is gonna be evolving up to level 32. As long as you have a dark type Pokemon in your team. So... It has been quite a lot of time, but I'm really happy to have Pangoro finally. We have a fighting dark type Pokemon who's gonna be a lot helpful in the future. And now that it has actually evolved, I think we can actually go ahead and move on to Route 7. Over here it is learning Night Slash, which means I can actually, uh, you know, finally switch out a move. But I really like the moveset that Pangoro is currently having. Anyway, I still have to actually check if it can learn a poison type move. If so, I do want to actually switch out one of the moves for that. So I might actually not learn Night Slash right over here. Anyway, in this game we do have the ability of freely teaching moves in Pokemon centers. So I guess it's quite easy. Anyway, now that this is done, I'll see you guys in Route 7. Here we are back in Route 7. And I've gone ahead and switched out uh, Zigzagoon and released it as well. Finally, we are ready to move on to Route 7. This has been a really good journey till now, except that part where I lost my Gyarados. I am never gonna forget that. That was so bad. And I'm just hoping I don't do such dumb mistakes again. Anyway, just before entering Route 7, I did want to check if any of my Pokemons will learn the Poison type move. And it seems like Sentiscotch over here is gonna learn it. I'm gonna switch out Slam, which is actually 75% uh, accurate and is really not a good move, according to me. And Venoshock should help us a lot. Now, it seems like Dreadnought does learn Ice Beam, which means I'll go ahead and teach it that move. Uh, the 5th gym leader will have a Togekiss, so I might be able to use Ice Beam on that. And I'll go ahead and switch out Bite, we don't really need it anymore. Other than that, we do have the move for Poison Jab. And let me see if any of my team members can learn. I don't want to really teach Dreadnought another move, 
since its move set uh, currently i think it's really good i'll go ahead and teach this move to pangoro as i did actually mention that before you know it's a good thing i didn't really teach it night slash so now i can actually go ahead and switch out i think i'll go ahead and switch out vital throw and keep low sweep for now uh, just because that uh, low sweep will do more damage uh, the heavier your opponent is anyway we do have the tm4 bulldoze which i think is a good move for vibrava as it currently does not really have a good um, ground type move you can see the best move it has is sand tomb which is really not a good move so i think bulldoze will actually help it a lot all right other than that i don't really think there is any other move that i can actually teach i do have dazzling gleam but not many pokemons can actually learn that i guess my togepi can learn that move but currently i have not yet trained it up that is one of the goals as well i do want to actually uh, level it up and fully evolve it into togekiss so that i can actually use it for the 8th gym anyway it seems like we don't have any other moves that we can teach so i guess we can actually move on now sorry for the delay anyway i guess to tell the truth i'm a bit nervous about this because fairy type pokemons are sometimes really tricky to take care of so i'm actually a bit nervous on that but i think we can actually go ahead and catch a new team member so let's see what we get i think this is a good area for us to just check out and we have got a oh sinistee okay sinistee is a ghost type pokemon and i was not actually expecting it it's an all right pokemon um as you might have heard through my voice i was not really excited for this one i was really hoping for a ponita or any other psychic type pokemon that will actually help me in my team sinistee is fine it's also one of the pokemons that i have never used so i guess i'll get to use it in this play through anyway for now i'll just go ahead and catch it you might remember we did pick up a cracked pot back in stone side which means that i can actually go ahead and evolve this little guy as well so this is really good i mean if i do have to use sinistee in my team i can actually go ahead and evolve it as well um which will actually help me even more anyway let's see how we can actually catch it um i did try using a great ball over here let's see if we can catch it right with this great ball and we did catch it all right so this is a new team member sinistee added it into our party but i'll just go ahead and place it in the box for now you can stay there until i really lose any of my other team members all right not bad i'll go ahead and battle all the trainers in route 7 just to make sure that my pokemons are leveled up and are actually ready for the next gym battle and i think we are already around the level that we have to be uh, i believe that her pokemons are going to be around level 37 and her team members are absolutely ready but since we don't really have a poison type pokemon i think leveling up a level or two more than the gym leader is all right well here we have a first trainer for route 7 and he has a milsery not bad i haven't yet seen a milsery after route 4 i believe and we have taken it down in one hit all right that was a lucky crit hit right there And let's see what he brings out next. All right, I guess I do have to actually switch out. Um, I'll go ahead and go to Sandy Scotch. I think we can take down this Pokemon with the help of a Flame Beam. I think I've started liking Sandy Scotch a lot. Um, I've never used this Pokemon before, but after using it in this playthrough, I think it's a really good Pokemon, and I was really missing out all this time. but i did use roly coli a lot in most of my playthroughs as it was one of the best fire type pokemons that i have used till now and i guess that's the reason why i never tried out the other ones 
All right, it seems like he has one more Pokemon to take down. And we can actually go ahead and switch out our Pokemon again. This time I'll go ahead and bring out Vibrava as we have not really used it too much in any of the Pokemon battles. And with a new move like Bulldoze, I think we will be doing pretty good damage. Alright, his third Pokemon is ASNST, uh, just like mine. I'll go ahead and use Crunch. For some reason, it seems like Vibrava is learning dark type moves as well which is quite helpful but I guess it's not that helpful anymore as we have just come past the uh, ghost type gym and we are good all right I'll go ahead and pick out all of the items that are available in this route as well there are some really good TMs over here and some really good items all right um, I think somewhere around here we do have another item I am not really sure if I have missed it. Alright, I guess this is the item. And it's a bag of bright power. I think this is a really good item. I can actually equip it into uh, to my scent scotch. But before that, let's go ahead and go to the other side. We do have a few trainer battles coming up. And I think the next one is going to be a double battle. Alright, uh, it's been quite some time, you know, without having a double battle. And look, I have found a Ponyta. I just wish I had found this the first time uh, and not the second time. I really like this Pokemon. It's one of the, I think, the best version Pokemon. Uh, I really like only this Ponyta, not the other one, the fire type one. I don't know why. But sadly, I was not able to get it in this route. So it means I have to actually take it down. So let me just go ahead and just take it down. And I guess we can move on. It seems like it's doing a lot of damage on my Pikachu. One of the issue with Pikachu is that as you can see it's really not that strong. It doesn't really have a good defense which is quite difficult. As we can't really evolve this Pikachu into a Raichu, which poses more issues for me. Further on, I think we'll have more difficult with Pikachu as, you know, uh, we will have some really tough Pokemon battles. And I'm just afraid that I might actually uh, lose this Pikachu because of that. If we do lose it, I think it will be much difficult because we don't really have an alternative um, electric type Pokemon to really use. For now, at least we were able to take down this Ponita and I think we can actually move on. Alright, I've gone ahead and healed my Pikachu and we have a double battle that's coming up. So I do have to make sure I have the correct Pokemons. I think Pikachu and Covisquire are pretty good. So I'll just keep them up in front and let's see how we can actually do in this battle. I believe these two will have a Ninetales and Ecolia. And I think we can actually take them down. Yes, I was right. Okay. All right. Let's see how this one goes. Um, I'm really just nervous on Pikachu these days. Most of my other team members are really good at taking Pokemons down, but Pikachu just uh, does struggle sometimes. Let me actually try and take down the Colia and I guess we can actually um, take care of the Ninetales later on. Alright, there we go. I guess we were able to take it down in one hit. And it seems like Vibrava is actually learning a really good ground type move. So I'll go ahead and take out Bite since we do have Crunch. Alright, Incinerate. Not a really good move but not bad all right so the next turn i think we can actually take down the nine tails as well with the thunderbolt and drill peck for backup and we did take it down okay that was a crit hit so i'm really not sure if it would have gone down uh, without the crit hit Anyway, now that we have defeated them, we are good to move on. There is one more trainer in this route and I guess we can actually go ahead and battle her as well. 
I really like Route 9 as it's really mysterious and it's a really good design. All right, here we have another TM. Let's explore this mysterious forest. Why not? We do have another path above and another item. All right, this is a really good item. It's actually a hyper potion. And that was a dead end. So I guess we have to actually go through over here. But we do have another trainer battle and I think she has two pokemons in her team. All right, so she has Indeedee. So this is also a pokemon that you will find in route 7 and another pokemon that I was hoping to catch. Not bad. I think we can actually take down this Indeedee uh, with a Thunderbolt or two in this case and let's see okay at least we didn't really take too much damage let's try thunderbolt again and we have taken down one of her pokemon all right i think she has another indeedee but in a different form i really like the fact that indeedee does look a bit different between the male and female version and go ahead and switch out pikachu uh, just to make sure that I don't really lose it. And let's see if Kobe Squire will actually evolve in this episode. So that's also a thing that I really wanted to make sure it happens. I think it evolves around level 38. So let's see if it does. And we are going to be using Drill Pack, which I find that it is a lot powerful than Pluck. Now, I really shouldn't have kept a uh, Kobe Squire out over here as it was low in health. But thankfully, we were lucky enough that it didn't really hit us in this move and we were able to actually take it down. Alright, I need to remember that I can't just keep my Pokemons out. Um, usually, when I go through these playthroughs, I don't really care if my Pokemon does go down. I just go ahead and use a revive. But since this is a Nuzlocke challenge, this is a bit tougher. I do have to remember it. But thankfully over here, Kobe Squire is finally evolving. Alright, so that's pretty cool. And we have got Kovanite. So this is amazing. I really like Kovanite as it is a part steel type as well. It's an amazing flying type Pokemon and I think this is one of my favorite. I really like its cool design. It's it's just amazing. That's all I have to say. Alright, I'll just go ahead and switch out Power Trip since I have never used that move. I think it's of no use for me at this point. So I'll just go ahead and switch it out for Steel Wing. Covenite, I think, will be one of the really good Pokemons as well. Um, as you might remember, that Fairy types are also weak against Steel type Pokemon. So, I think Coronite will be a really good Pokemon for our next gym. Alright, so I'm really excited. We did get a Luminous Moss over here, which is a really good item. And I accidentally, okay, jumped down. I guess I do have to go through that one again. And we have to go through the left side um, to pass through and get another TM right here. So, this is U-turn. This is a good move to teach to a Scotch, but I don't think I'll teach it right away. For now, I think the moveset is pretty good. And we have gone through Route 7, so we are actually at the end of it. I think Glimwood Tangle is one of the special areas in this game and I really like its design. Finally, we are reaching Balanly. I, I think that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, Anyway, if I did mispronounce, please let me know in the comment section. And here is our next gym. It looks amazing. I really like it. This is just like Glimwood Tangle. It's, it looks amazing. I really like the fact that everything looks so mystical in this town. Anyway, we did have a letter that we had to give, um, which is a side request. Um, we can actually... If you want, you can actually complete this quest. If not, it's okay. Um, it doesn't stop you from completing the game. But I think this is a good way of completing it. So I did take that letter. Um, it was back, I think, in Motostoke. If I'm right. Anyway, we do get an item if we do actually give this letter to him. 
I think it's going to be a choice scarf. Um that's actually a very unique item and I've not yet planned to use it but I think having it would be good. So I did do this one. And let's go out. There is another battle right around in this next house which I do want to actually uh complete. All right. Um I guess we can actually heal up send this coach before we move on. This next battle is going to be a bit tougher but I think we can actually uh go through it. But we do get a really good item for this one. All we have to do is talk to this lady right here and she is going to ask us to a Pokemon battle. So let's go ahead and battle her. She is going to be a breeder and has only one Pokemon which is a Dotler. It's also a really good Pokemon that I have never uh, got a chance to actually use. Let me go ahead and use Flame Wheel, and we should be able to take down this Dotler in two hits. Now the reason why we are able to take it down in two hits and not one is because it is actually holding a Eviolite. And let's just go ahead and actually defeat her. I did go ahead using flame wheel once again as it's much easier. And now that we have actually defeated her, she is actually going to give us a evil light which is a really good item. And I think this is a good item to actually equip to my Pikachu who is never going to evolve. I think it's actually much helpful for that. Anyway, you don't really have to do this. Uh, again this is not a necessity for completing the game but collecting these items is kind of fun for me so i just go ahead and do all of this now that i have the evil light i'll go ahead and equip it to my pikachu as well and i do have some other items that i need to actually switch up and equip to other pokemons but i have never done that all right we are actually good So this is pretty good till now. I think we are actually ready for the gym battle as well. <laughs> Although even though I am actually quite nervous, I think we are at a good place to actually go ahead and battle this fifth gym as well. Now the gym challenges are going to be a bit tougher from now on. The gym leaders will have some really good pokemons and they are not going to be that easy to take down. I might have to actually go ahead and train up my pokemon a level or two more than the gym leader just to make sure that we will not have too much trouble in this battles anyway let me quickly heal up my pokemon and we can actually enter the gym all right here we are let's enter the gym and let's go ahead and challenge the fifth gym Oh all right so i did forget about this cut scene we do have to actually talk to marni right here now this is really not a big cut scene and we're not going to be battling her over here but we will have another battle with her in the future um this is just a small cut scene so i just decided to include it anyway i think that out of all the gym challenges that we have till now and the gym challenge we'll have in the future i feel that the fifth gym mission is really not exciting i mean it's just us going against three of the gym trainers and trying to defeat them one after the other this really nothing too exciting in that and i feel like they could have done something different especially since they have done such good designs for the last four gyms um where we had some creative thinking going on anyway i guess this is what we get for the fifth gym so i do have to actually battle three of the trainers continuously uh, one after the other and the other thing with the fifth gym that i really didn't like was the questions They do ask you for a few questions and if you do get it right you get a stat boost and if you get it wrong you get a stat decrease I guess It's really not too creative I mean they could have come up with something else Again this is just my opinion this is just how I feel I'm really not sure if there might be some of you guys over there that might really like this gym 
But for me, I think they could have done something better. Anyway, we have entered the gym, and we do have to actually challenge three of these uh, gym trainers, one after the other. They do have some tougher Pokemon's, and if you want to actually go ahead and have an easy time with them, I recommend that you guys have your poison type Pokemon in the beginning to actually make sure that you easily win these three battles. Other than that, I think I'm actually ready for this challenge. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, here we are, and this is gonna be the first trainer. I think each of these trainers will have two Pokemon, so we do have to defeat six Pokemon in total. She has a Spritzy, right? Not bad. And for some reason, I have Pangoro in the beginning. I guess it's okay since it does have poison jab, and we were able to easily take down this Spritzy. Not bad. All right, let's see which Pokemon she has next. And it's a Slurpuff. All right. So this is actually the proper challenge right here. She is gonna be asking us a question, and I think the first question is pretty easy. You will get it right either way. Both of the answers are correct. And I think we should be able to. Yes, we were able to easily take down the Slurpuff. Not bad. All right, that was a good start for this gym battle. And it seems like Dredna is learning another new move, which is Jaw Lock. I guess I can actually go ahead and switch out for another move, maybe Headbutt. And we have won the first gym trainer battle. Not bad. We do have two more, and the questions are gonna be much trickier than the before. Um, I guess than the question that we got in this battle. All right, here is the second trainer, and thankfully we didn't really take too much damage on Pangoro, so we should be still good for this battle. She has a Swirlix, not bad. I really like Swirlix as well as Fritzy, but evolving them is the bigger deal. You know, you do have to actually go ahead and um, I guess have a trade for them both. Uh, holding a certain item in order to actually evolve them. Anyway, we were able to take down her first Pokemon, and here is Aroma Tea. So this is actually much trickier. Now I did mean to actually uh, click the second option, but in a hurry I clicked the first one, which means that we are not going to be doing that much damage this turn. And of course, Aroma Tea does, you know, uh, survive with one HP. And it almost takes down my Pangoro. This, this is exactly what I was talking about. If I don't have enough patience to actually click the right one, it almost messes up my whole team. Anyway, I do have to be much, uh, I guess, careful from now on. And I think I would have to switch out Pangoro for the next battle as well, since it is at half health. That was not that good. But we still have one more trainer that we do have to defeat, and here she is. All right, let's see what Pokemon she has. And she has a Morgum. All right, I will go ahead and try to switch out Pangoro and bring out maybe Senti Scotch or any other Pokemon. All right, I think Covenite is a good Pokemon over here. Since it does have Steel Wing, and should be able to easily take down her Pokémon. And I was quite lucky with the ability for Covenite over here. If I didn't have the Rookery with the Keen Eye ability, I think I wouldn't have got the Pressure ability for Covenite over here. So this was actually quite lucky, and I will try to make sure that I won't accidentally uh, kill my Covenite over here. Anyway, it seems like my Covenite was confused, but still was able to take down the Mogram. Not bad. And her next Pokemon is gonna be a Gardevoir, which means that I do have to make sure I don't miss out and hit myself. All right, it did use Reflect, which means it won't really get 
too much damage from the steel wing. Thankfully, we were still able to hit it, uh, even though we were confused. Let's try that one again. And this turn, I think it will be even much tougher. But wow, okay, <laughs> we are in a good place. Uh, even though confused, we didn't really hit ourselves. And let me actually try this one again. And we are good. We were able to take down the guard over. All right, so that was pretty cool. Now that we have taken down her Pokemons, I guess we are at a good level. We have Pokemons around level 39. And even though it's a bit higher, I guess a level or two higher than the gym leader's last Pokemon, I think this is a really good position. And now that we have defeated all the gym trainers, we can actually go ahead, I guess I'll go ahead and just heal my Pokemons and we can move on for the main gym leader battle. I'm really excited for this gym battle. Let's go ahead and enter the stadium and see how this one goes. Now the fifth gym leader will have some really strong Pokemons and most of our Pokemons are going to be actually fully evolved. This means that it's going to be a bit of a challenge for us as well. So let's see how this one goes. Alright, so this is really exciting for me. She does have I think around four Pokemons and... Let's see which Pokemon she really has. I, I have actually quite forgotten what she really uses. I know a few of them, but let's see which one they are. So Opal over here is asking us to show her her Pokemons and how they behave. I think we are quite good with our team. I mean, we do have really good type matches as well. So let's see what will happen. I think mostly I'll be using Scentiscotch and Pangoro but in case if there is any issues I'll quickly switch out to Covenite. Alright, it seems like I did have Covenite in the beginning. I thought I actually switched it, okay, never mind. Um, this is actually quite a good type matchup uh, with Weezing right here. Since both of Pangoro and uh, I guess my uh, Sentis cost wouldn't really be able to do too much damage on this Weezing as it's already a poison type. And here is her first question. So her nickname is the Wizard, which is the correct answer. And we do get a boost, which is a speed boost. Not bad, but. I will be actually switching out my Pokemons soon, so it really doesn't matter. Alright, we did miss that Steel Wing, but let's see. This turn, we were able to actually hit it and... Alright, so Weezing was at level 36. Okay, I didn't really realize that it was at 36, but at least we were able to take it down. Anyway, her next Pokemon... Oh, before the next Pokemon, I think Sandy Scott's tried to learn a move, but anyway, I don't want that. She does bring out her Marvel, which means I can actually go ahead and bring out my Sandy Scott and try using Flame Beam. So, I think since um, Marvel is a part Steel type, Flame Beam should be able to do more damage. So, let's see how this one goes. And of course, we do have white smoke which is a really good ability especially for nuzlocke and here we go let's see how much damage we do all right that was pretty cool we did take marvel with one hit i guess because it was a crit hit again i don't know if it would have taken it down without being a crit hit but she is bringing out her Togekiss. Now this is the Pokemon I was a bit worried about. As you might know, Togekiss is really defensive and it's really tougher to actually take it down. I will try taking it down with Pikachu over here, but I really don't know how this one's gonna go. And here is her second question. And I have selected purple as that's also a correct answer. Which actually raises our defense and special defense. So that was really good. I really needed that boost. 
and as you can see we were not even able to take it down to half health so that was pretty bad anyway i think we should be able to still take down this togogis maybe in two more moves this time i'll go ahead and use thunderbolt again and all right one more turn one more turn and seems like drain kiss is really not doing too much damage and when i say that it's of course going to be a crit hit so this was pretty bad i really can't keep pikachu out anymore as it might go down in the next turn so i did decide to actually switch out to dredna who has a ice beam so i'm actually hoping to take down this jungle kiss with the ice beam all right draining kiss again and all right not not that bad but i think i'm starting to get some troubles with this togekiss as you can see i'm really struggling i just want this pokemon to go down and it just seems like healing itself every single turn all right let's try with the ice beam now i think without that crit hit of the draining kiss i think we would have been able to take down the togekiss without pikachu anyway here is the third question and since we have answered it correctly we are going to get a stab boost for attack and special attack so that should actually help us with the ice beam and i might have to actually switch out right now also soon as you can see it didn't really do too much damage like i was hoping that the ice beam would take down the togekiss but apparently not All right, time to switch out again and try this whole thing once more. This time, I think going to Cobra Knight would be the safer choice, as you know, um, fairy type moves doesn't really affect uh, Cobra Knight that much. And I just wish that it would stop using Draining Kiss. That's really annoying move. As you can see, it still used the same move even after seven turns. All right, I think we we can actually take it down right here with a steel wing or drill pack. I did decide to go to drill pack, but it seems like it has ancient rock. No, not good. That's not good. But at least we were able to take down the Togo kiss. All right, so that is the huge trouble push decide. All right, <laughs> I'm much relieved. And now for her final Pokemon. So this is actually her really uh, her best Pokemon, Altrimi, which means that I guess I can go ahead and switch out to Sandy Scotch. Pangoro is not a good Pokemon to switch out at this point, as it might actually I might actually uh, kill it because of Altrimi. And of course she's gonna be Gigantamaxing it at this point. which i think alcremie's gigantamax form is amazing i mean it looks really like a huge cake um, and it really makes me hungry when i look at it but i think this is the second time we're actually dynamaxing our sandy scotch uh, which i think we did in the last gym battle as well but since it does have beno shock let's see if we can take this alcremie down So is the Gigantamax form of it. As you can see, it just looks amazing. It's like a four-tier cake. And here we go. We are Dynamaxing our Sandy Scotch as well. And I think it might take two turns to take down this Alcremi, but I'm not really sure. We are around level forty. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. It's level thirty-nine. And. I think still it should be okay. So level 39 is a really good level for this gym battle. And of course her Altrimi is actually at level 38. I thought it was going to be at level 37 but I guess I was wrong. So we are still much closer which means I guess that's the reason why we had such issues with the Togekiss. Now Venusaur didn't really do too much damage as you can see here but at least it did raise my special attack 
विच मीन्स आई विल बी एबल टू डू मोर डैमेज आर वी टर्न गोज बाय मैम आई थिंक वी डू नीड टू मोर टर्न टू टेक दिस अग्री डाउन सो लेट सी हाउ दिस टर्न गो एंड दिस टर्न इट डिड ए लॉट मोर डैमेज सो वी स्टिल गेट ए स्टैप बुज फॉर अ स्पेशल अटैक विच इज वेटी कूल एंड वी आर नॉट रिली टेकिंग टू मच डैमेज ओवर हियर दिस इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट गुड Right, Alpemi did heal itself a bit, but it won't really help it. Trust me, it's gonna go down in the next move. So this is the last turn for Max Uz, and we are gonna be getting our fifth badge. All right, so this was amazing battle. We have finally taken down her final Pokemon, which is Jagat Max Pokemon. and we have done amazing so this has been pretty good for us i think we are also leveled up quite well um for the i guess the next gym area wherever we are going so we have completed this gym challenge all right your pink is still lacking though i i am not really getting this lady she just says our pink is lacking so i guess she was meaning that we didn't wear pink not really sure anyway we have defeated her so opal over here is going to give us the first gym badge as well as the tm for this gym which i think should be drain kiss um i guess i'll use that move on my toga kiss when i train it up anyway We have a solid team right now and I do not want to lose any of my pokemons uh from now on especially its pikachu that I'm more worried about since it doesn't really evolve but I guess I was right about the draining kiss that is the tm that she's going to give I mean no wonder she kept using it uh with her toga kiss Anyway, we do have another cut scene just after this gym as well, and I guess we can actually go ahead and go through it. It's just me and Opal going back. Um, this time we are going back to Hammerlock, and I guess we are going back together, which is totally fine. I don't really have to, um, I guess, mostly train up any of my Pokémon. And being back in Hammerlock, I guess we don't really have too much things to do, since we have picked up all the items that were necessary in the last, um, I guess the last episode, or the last time we were there over there. And I guess we can actually move on from Hammerlock. So I'll go ahead and go over there. We do have another cut scene with B Day over there, which I will definitely go ahead and skip. But here we are in Hammerlock. All right. And I am not really sure why she calls this Hammerlock as a dusty town. I mean, I never felt that it was a dusty town. I really like Hammerlock and it's amazing. Since my Pokémons are already healed, I don't really have to heal them again. But there is a cafe right here, so I guess I can do a cafe battle. I mean, why not? The last time we did have it was in Motorstoke. and i think we are at a pretty good level so let me go ahead and challenge the cafe owner and see how it goes i'm pretty happy with this one although i'm not really sure any items that he really gives us will help us but i guess we can actually try this time he has two pokemon a slurpuff and a alpini both evolve form And I guess we do have really good Pokémons over here. I'll go ahead and use Venom Shock on Alcreamy, and I'll go ahead and use Poison Jab on I guess Alcreamy again, just to make sure we have at least one Pokémon down. And Alcreamy is down. All right, so that was pretty good battle. So I guess that was a pretty good move right there, and. Centic Scorch, please take down this Slurpuff. And of course, it doesn't. And uh, no. Okay. 
I was not expecting this. I I I really didn't think that it would take down my Pangoro in one hit. This is this is ridiculous. Like look at me. I just brought a Vibrava who is actually uh it will also go down if Slurper moves faster. And I'm really devastated at this point. This is the this is exactly what happened to Gyarados. Exactly. I should have known that it would actually use play rough on my Pangoro who is actually not going to take it. This was this is really bad. I just lost my only fighting type Pokémon who would have been really helpful in the next gym. And I guess I'm really disappointed right now. I I don't know what to say. I have nothing to say anymore. This is really bad. <sighs> I guess we are saying goodbye to Pangoro now. And I just evolved him just before the last gym. I can't believe this. This is going to be tough. Now that I have lost one of the best Pokémon in my team, I think this is going to be much tougher. I guess we do have to go ahead and release Pangoro at this point, but I do want to remove the rocky helmet that it actually has. So I'll go ahead and put it into my bag. And let me just yeah, it has actually gone ahead and removed it. I'll just go ahead and check it out. Once it's removed, yeah, it's removed. So I guess we are going to release out our Pangoro. This is pretty bad. I was hoping to have it for the next gym, which I think is Ice type gym and I I know Pangoro would have helped me a lot for that. And we have lost the second Pokemon in this run. All right, that was a pretty bad ending for this episode. I just wish that we didn't have to take it down over there, but okay. All right, so we do have another cutscene right here. I'll go ahead and skip it out as well. Well, I decided to change my outfit just to feel a bit better. And now that I feel better, I think we can actually go ahead and leave Hamelock. We do have another cut scene over here with Professor Sonia and later another cut scene with our rival Hop. Now, I did decide to skip the cut scene with Professor Sonia, but we do have the cut scene right here with Hop. Now we do have a battle coming up with Hop right here so I do have to go ahead and heal my pokemon. I think we'll go ahead and battle Hop and go through route 8 in the next episode. I guess this is a quite a place to actually go ahead and end out this episode. It is I'm still quite upset with losing Pangoro and I think I do have to think this one through for the next gym. Anyway, Thank you all for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot, especially when I'm going through a Nuzlocke challenge. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.